Hey guys, Christina Lane here from DessertFor2.com. We are making rye bread today. It's actually a rye soda bread. I make this recipe as soon as fall hits. It is so easy. If you've always wanted to make homemade bread but haven't tried, this is the place to start. This recipe doesn't have any yeast. It's completely reliant on buttermilk and baking soda. You're gonna love this recipe. Such an easy recipe, just four ingredients. Let me show you how to make it. I am using a scale today. This is the easiest, fastest way to make bread. I love it because you don't have to wash all your cups out. This is such a fast, easy way. So first you wanna tear out your scale. And then we need 9.75 ounces of rye flour. This is a whole grain flour, super good for you. It has a really distinct flavor. I happen to love it. It's really good with salted butter. 9.75 is what we're looking for. There we go. Then we still need regular all-purpose flour. This keeps it light and fluffy. We just need eight ounces of regular unbleached all-purpose flour. Tear out your scale again, and then bring it back to eight ounces. There we go. Next we need one and three quarters teaspoon of baking soda. That is a lot of baking soda, but you really need it. This is one and a half teaspoons, and this is your quarter. Next we need salt one and a quarter teaspoon of salt. One. And then our quarter. And these are your dry ingredients. Okay, let's blend up our dry ingredients before we add our buttermilk. You just wanna mix this really well. Incorporate the rye flour into the all-purpose flour. Once it's all mixed up, you wanna make a well in the center and then pour in two cups of buttermilk, all of it, right in there. I love that this is a one bowl bread recipe. Super simple. You can do this. I know you can make this recipe. We're getting there. It's a little tough to stir. It's super sticky. We need it to come together into a dough so we're gonna just knead it on the counter for 30 seconds. Flour your surface very, very well before you do this. Flour your hands, flour the bottom of the dough, flour the top of the dough. No sticking. And flour the top, then flour your hands. And all we're doing is just bringing it together. Flour your hands as you go. Just a couple kneads. It's a little moist when it comes out of the bowl. See, it's already kind of sticking together more into a ball. Okay, I think we're there, that's it. I don't wanna overwork it. And then slide it on a small baking sheet. I lined this with parchment paper so it doesn't stick. Yeah, move it quickly. There. Okay, let me give my hands a quick rinse and then we'll score it and brush it with buttermilk. Okay, so perfectly round, perfectly flat. You wanna brush the surface very generously with extra buttermilk. Brush the top and the sides, everything you can see. Perfect. Then I want you to, to do something a little strange. I want you to sprinkle two, about two tablespoons of flour on top of the surface. This gives rye that characteristic look. Then we're gonna score it. I want you to cut four deep marks about three quarters of the way through the dough. This will help the dough open up into a really pretty flour shape as it bakes in the oven and it also portions it out for eight little rolls. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. You wanna bake it on the bottom rack for 30 minutes, then move it up to the top rack and bake it for another 20 minutes. Then you're done.
Bread is so good. It's so fluffy and tender, and I love the crisp crust. Every place where you cut develops really crisp crust. For the full recipe, visit dessertfor2.com.